Hey there everyone, I hope you are well. Welcome to Bex's Crafts. Um, I've come on with a haul. So the first thing I got was from Wilkinson's and I picked up these 12 jars for um, £6 I think it was. And these are the squared ones. Um, I'm trying not to wear my nails, I only got them done. Um, obviously they have different ones you can get and I thought these would be oh, I'm scared of ruining my nail I literally got them done yesterday um, yeah so they're really cute and I thought they'd be really cool storage for my embellishments oh, I'm, just me I'm so sorry So this is what they look like. But they had round ones as well. But I really like the squared. And they have quite a lot of room in. And obviously you get your little jar. Oh, how cute are they? And I thought for £6 for 12 it was really, really good. So, so yeah, I got them. Then I picked up this. Which, again, absolutely love it. It was £15 from the works. And you get um, 20, no, 25 individual drawers. I think it's more like an advent calendar, but I thought this would be really, really cool for, um, like, putting, like organising some of my flowers, because I've quite a lot of flowers. They might not all fit in here, but even if I just stick a few in at a time, then I've got somewhere to store them, and I know where they will on. And maybe I could, like colour each drawer for each colour flower I want which I thought was a pretty cool craft idea um, I've given the task to my husband to paint because I really don't feel like painting it I can but why do it when you can get someone else to do it <laughs> so also in the works I picked up these um, envelopes just playing what envelopes for swaps and stuff I picked up two of these A4 pastel cards and they're 250 GS7, you get 15. So you get um, blue, yellow, like an aqua and the pink. So I thought they were really, really cute. And that's blue. I'm not going to get them out. Um, I also picked up these little white envelopes because I thought these would be really handy for ATCs and stuff that I'm sending out. Um, got some self seal craft bags. These ones are A5 size. Um, then I picked up some padded envelopes. Picked up a lot of envelopes, that's for sure. Um, I picked up some cute little jimmies. I love these. And they're really good for um, colouring them yourself. And you get two sheets of them, which is really good. And I'll just move them to the side a minute. Okay. So then I also got these self-seal bags. And you get 35 and then 9 by 12 centimetres. So pretty cool. And then, oh, these are so cute. I've got three of these, so I'm going to have one in a giveaway I'm going to be doing soon. But they're... Um, you get 30 sheets, 3 times 10 designs. They're 100, G 100 GSM. But they're like little koala bears. How cute! And you get um, 3 of each sheet. Oh, so cute. How cute are these little koalas? I love koala bears. Um, I love that one. How cute is that? Your mama bear, my baby. My sister's nickname's Koala. She's got little Koala ears. This one. Got some beautiful flowers. Look at that one. It's a really nice summery as well. That one. That really cute one there. Then we got that one. But this one would be really cute for Mother's Day, wouldn't it? Could just put it on a little card or something and it'd be like a six by six card and oh it'd be so cute. Um so <laughs> I 
And I also got these. You get 50 in a pack, and these are 7 by 9 And I thought these would be really good for pocket layers. Um, and then we got this paper pad. And this is called Pastel Pinks. Uh, I'm just going to move these because they're getting in my way. Okay. Well, I'm falling off. Right. There we go. So we've got this one. Um, this one was £3. What size is it? So it's 24 sheets, 230 GSM, and it is double sided. So it's got this really cute pink. I love this. This would be really nice just on its own. And we've got that one. Then we've got this really pretty stripes. Then we've got the spots again. I love that. That's so, so pretty. And then we've got this um, like marble type effect in pink. That's really pretty. And then we've got some spotties. And we've got some like, just like lines of snow in winter. And then we've got the bubbles. That's so pretty. And then we've got this, which I thought was really cute. And it's got you have what it takes. You totally can dream big and bright. And they're the bottom ones if you can't see them. <coughs> Just move this up a little bit so you can see it. Hopefully you can see it now. Yeah. So then we've got this one, which I'll move back down again now. Getting used to my new camera, so then we've got this really, really pretty um flowers there. I've got this really pretty pink. I've got some spots again. That's really pretty. Um, I've got this one, like a vintagey type paper. That's really cool. <laughs> it's different, isn't it? Um, and we've got this one, which is flowers. That's really pretty. I've got this one. And we've got this like vintagey type one, which is really pretty. Love that. Oh, I love this one. I've got this yellow one. It's like another vintagey type paper there. And we've got this purple one. And we've got this one on both sides, which I'm guessing is going to go back here. Yeah. So that's really pretty as well. It's like an off pinky peach type colour. So I've got that. And then I got these spray bottles, which I'm hoping they work. Uh, this gorgeous little fairy door, which I want to do something with. And then the last few bits from the works. <coughs> so I've got this acrylic paint, because I want to do... I've got a white one, and I wanted to make some pink. And I've got these really cute little butterfly pegs. They're so cute. I've got some more of these iridescent hearts. I thought they were just so beautiful. And then I've got these really cute paper flowers in the pink, which would be really cute to stick in my um, storage box. And then I've got these really cute ladybirds. Who doesn't love ladybugs? And... Um, 